Test, test, test. Hey, Frost, what's good? Just setting up the stream. Give me a few minutes, chat. Ross, can you chat one more time and let me know if uh, the chats are appearing on screen? It should be, but I want to make sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're there. Fantastic. Okay. So... Like it says uh, in the title, I'm going to be surviving 100 days in the Poisonous Potato update. This is the new series that is replacing uh, the old one, but uh, we aren't properly surviving every single day in this world in the Poisonous Potato update. We will be updating the server out of this update after the first 100 days. I will explain the rules when we get there, uh, but for now... I am live surviving 100 days in the potato update. <laughs> All right. So before we start, there are some things we have to do, like turn up the music. I know, so weird. Okay. Uh, right there. Okay, so we turn up the music, we set FOV to 90, I'm training myself to not be on Quick Pro anymore, and then, we create a new world. Hardcore Season 2. There's a very good chance that I die. Let me, uh, hit record. Alright. Hardcore Season 2. Hey, welcome to the stream. We're creating a brand new Hardcore World. Surviving 100 days in the potato... In the potato update. I'm gonna do an intro for the sake of YouTube when we get in here, chat. Oh. Hello guys, Shaden here. Uh, welcome back to Hardcore Season 2. Uh, I changed my FOV to 90 to train myself, and, uh, this series has the sole purpose of playing Minecraft how it's intended. So there are some rules that we need to talk about, uh, and we'll get to that. Oh, uh, crap. There's, uh, no, uh, okay, before I finish talking to the camera, let's get out of here, okay, there's some rules I need to talk about before we get going with the potato update, uh, but the first thing we're gonna do is get a book and quill, it'll all make sense in a, in a little bit, I know, YouTube's quite inactive at this time and day during the week, The stream is lagging or the game is lagging?
Oh, can I turn off background blur? That's kind of cool. I'm just gonna speed run the basics. Sword and pickaxe. All right. Uh oh. One last thing. Furnace. All right. So the first thing we need to do is find a cow. Or right, we just need the ingredients for a book and quill, basically. Let's grab this coal before we head out, so we can cook food once we find some. Minecraft music is very common. some sugar cane over there this music is getting out out of hand and then there's some squids down there So we got the paper, we got the ink. Let's kill these sheep. Ooh, chickens. Fantastic, we need feathers. Okay. The last thing we need is either cows or horses, so keep our ears open. Uh, let's grab some more wood. Hopefully some more cobblestone here. Hey, welcome to the stream. Make sure if you guys are enjoying the stream, you consider subscribing because this will become a YouTube video and there's a good chance that that YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming as such viewers will experience buffing. Buffering. That's not good. I fix that. You guys experiencing buffering? Uh, okay, let's make a second furnace. 
and make a smoker. And let's get out of this cave real quick. Uh, while we're here and while we have coal, let's make some torches. And chop down another tree so we can make a bed. There we go. Uh, let's set up right here for now. Just so we can cook some food. All right, now uh, we can finish looking for what we need for this book and quill. More sheep, but no cows. I'm about to turn the sheep into an orphan, hold up. Horses. This might work. If any of these horses drop leather. I'm just going on a genocide spree. Alright, we got leather. Let's kill the chickens too. Oh, more sheep over here. All right, let's settle by the water for a little bit just so I can uh, get going with what I want to do. So let's make a book and then book and quill. And this will last us for 50 days because what we're going to be doing on this world is. The first thing we need to do on day one is establish the rules of how we're going to be playing this se season of hardcore. Because uh, there's some things that I want to do to ensure that we are getting the ultimate Minecraft experience. Day one. Should I include the date that I got to that day? So 4, 3, 20, 2024. I wanted to start this world by es establishing some ground rules. One, FOV set to 40. Nope, not 40, 90. Two, no F3 functions. Three, music on at all times. Four, no brightness 
mods. Five, no mods in general. Six, every 100 days, update to the latest snapshot. So that's why it was important. That's why it was important to start this world when I did, because the latest snapshot right now is the potato snapshot, I think, as long as I didn't break the rules. Uh, so in, we have 100 days to do everything we want to do in the potato snapshot before uh, I update the world. Uh, and the main goal of these 100 days is going to be obtaining a quadruple compressed poisonous potato. So let's get this food cooked so we can start on our mission. Grab the sugar cane while we're here. The no using F3 functions rule also means that we have to keep track of the day counter ourselves. And we'll also be using our uh, book for that. It's turning nighttime. There we go. Sleep one. Add it to the book. Day two, four, three, twenty, twenty-four. That says two or three. Day two. Hell yeah. Alright, our food is almost done. We have a lot of mutton to survive us for a while. Alright. So. Uh, our first goal in the potato update is going to be rushing the caves, getting enchanting table, because there is a new enchantment called pota potato if potato if potatoification something like that. It's something like that, uh, and that enchantment makes it so that every time you mine a block, there is a chance that you will get a potato out of it. And that is going to be how we get all the poisonous potatoes for this project of obtaining the quadruple uh, compressed poisonous potato. So let's... Is... I think that's poisonous potato ore. Guys, look at this. That's not a... That's not a... Ore that already exists, is it? That is a poisonous potato ore. Let's go. All right, we got our first poisonous potatoes. Oh. I am scared. All right, let's. All right. Oh, I haven't played without Fulbright in so long. Oh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's put this down so we can make a shield as soon as possible. Oh, the sounds are weirdly delayed. Okay. Yes, okay, okay, let's make a shield. Potato eye. Oh, 
potato plant. All right, let's make those potato eyes and let's hold on to this potato plant. Oh, I never made the shield. What did I do instead? Did I screw? I accidentally made a bed. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Uh, well, I guess we can swim back up. Oh, I almost hit the F3 button. We're not allowed to do that. So whenever we're in the caves, I'll have no idea how low I am. We're lucky this time we weren't that low underground. Alright. Uh, I don't want to mine any super tall trees. All right. Now let's craft our shield. There we go. Uh, maybe we should head to the village. Uh, this isn't going to lead us to a village. This is actually going to lead us to the nearest pedestal. And the nearest pedestal might very well be in the village, but, uh, in a village, but we'll see. I kind of want to loot a cave. Can I wear the potato with the glasses? I can. I just don't know. Do we want to talk to the potato? Oh, it's talking too fast. What's the deal with this guy? I invite you to take a moment to consider my situation. We've been planting on and infiltrating Minecraft for weeks, but all we can manage is sneaking into the April Fool snapshot. Now you've discovered us. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to write Java code? It's not as simple as copy samples from the internet. There's also a, a, a pasting involved. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, I think it was changing so much because the chats are triggered by jumping. That's why. Every time I jump, the chat changes. Perhaps if I squint hard enough, I can see where we're at. Watch out, there's a block over there. Try not to be startled by it. Maybe you need a moment to breathe and relax. The world is starting, just starting after all. Okay. Uh, Wait, what was that last thing it said? If we can find a village, we could take one of those beds and rest. I already have a bed, homie. <laughs> oh. Uh, how am I going to get up there? Okay, let's head out this way. Once we get to the village, we're going to settle down and get an enchanting table so we can get the potatoification, potatoification enchantment. Uh, hopefully whatever village we find will have bookshelves because if we I, I need to get a higher level of potatoification for this to not take seven years to accomplish potentially iron on the surface right, 
we're gonna oh, poisonous potato ore again. Heck yeah. Nine poisonous potatoes. We can make our first uh, poisonous potato block. I don't think I'm going to do that quite yet. Ooh, if we can find rabbits, bundles are enabled on this world. We can use bundles to hold our poisonous potatoes. Okay. Uh, let's make another furnace before we start smelting. Oh, it's a potato bat. Bat tato. Bat tato, come here. Finally, a bat that isn't completely useless. I got it. On closer inspection, this potato, poisonous potato, is a plant. Do they stack? They don't stack. That's kind of annoying. Uh, come here. Come here. <laughs> Please. Okay. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Come here. Oh me what? This hitbox is impossible to find. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now that we have some iron, we are going to make uh, an iron axe and an iron pickaxe. We're going to throw away one of those potato plants. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right, it's turning nighttime. Let's write our journal entry for the night. This day was spent briefly going into the caves to get iron, after which we made a shield, iron axe, and iron pickaxe. I discovered my first poisonous potatoes this day and began traversing on the path of the potato eye. Now we sleep. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I believe the eye is taking us. Which way are you going? Oh. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Oh, I'm guessing that's it. No. Here we are. This is where we can start the portal. What block is this? Hair de Palm. I love that name. I might need a hoe for some of these blocks. Can I craft this into potatoes? That would be ideal, but it looks like we cannot. Okay. So is this where our home base is going to be? Can I mine this? 
it would appear not. Uh, we need to get the enchanting table first. Because we need to get the new potato enchantment before we go through the potato dimension trying to get potatoes. So many creepers. I don't like not being able to one-shot creepers anymore. In the aspect of hardcore, we're not experiencing too many uh, inconveniences so far. Is this a monster cage? Alright. Oh, is this a new structure in the potato mod? It's a potato geode. What? That's crazy. Probably not a good idea to build with wool around lava. Diamonds. Oh. All right, maybe we should play a little safer. Probably a good idea. Are those baby potato zombies? Creeper.
Dear Lord. Uh, almost got killed by a skeleton and some baby potato zombies. I'm starting to think the poisonous potato invasion was not a good thing. Alright, so these diamonds are supposed to be used for a pickaxe so we can get the enchanting table quicker. Uh, but we're going to use it on a sword just to improve our survival. I think that's a fair investment. Let's go back out there and take back our stuff. Go, go, go. Go. Oh. Okay. Oh, I just realized we have no idea what day it is down here. Maybe we could craft a clock. There's some gold up there. This is not a favorable situation. Let's go down. Uh... Oh, if this were an ore vein, that would be so nice. I don't think it is. Is there no redstone? Yes. Oh, that's an ore vein. It's about to turn nighttime. Let's spend some time mining iron. I'm I made I obtained iron armor and found an iron ore vein.
I'm satisfied. Ooh, two things of diamonds right in front of us. Oh, there's a more of the ore vein right there. Great, one of the diamonds burned. That would have been the perfect amount of diamonds, too. Bro. That would have been everything we needed. That's so sad. Oh, raw iron block. That's what we're talking about. Alright, I'm happy with the amount of iron we have. So we need oh nope we do not need diamond boots iron there we go then we need a diamond pickaxe shoo Crafted a diamond gag. Alright, the book's getting full. We might as well sleep. Day 4, 4, 3, 2024. quickly craft the book we need for the uh enchanting table before we forget wait that's a normal bat all right let's make a bucket two buckets three buckets we're going to take this lava with us. In addition to... We need to go find... We need to go find water. We didn't need to do that at all. There's a mini pool down there. Okay. Now, where do we find water? Oh. Swim all the way up there. Oh, 
Hello, welcome to the stream. Ugh. The first thing you could have ever seen for me was potentially my death, but I managed to survive through it. Alright, so what we gotta do now... Oh. What we gotta do now is go down here and convert all of this. And we have our two lava buckets here that we can add to the mix. Make it enough. And let's throw away some stuff that we don't need. Extra redstone, extra wool. Ooh, where is that coming from? There we go. Okay. Now we can get the obsidian we need for the enchanting table. And then we'll need to go get some diamonds. Hey, welcome to the chat. And one more. Four viewers on day four. Let's go. All right. get potato lots of potato i'm getting an enchanting table because there's a new potato enchantment in this uh update that will help us get potatoes faster that's what we're working on right now A second chat i'm gonna mute and blow my nose if it'll let me there we go Mic test, mic test, mic test. Are you in Y57? I think I'm on Y59. Uh, I have a rule on this world where I'm not allowed to use the F3 menu, though, so I can't check. But we're at the top, right on top of Bedrock, which should be 59. Probably would have been easier to look for diamonds in the cave we were in. Oh, I thought that was a potato war. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Super Merc. We're looking for diamonds right now so I can get the potato enchantment. The 
This is not working. Should we go back to the cave? Listen closely. Doesn't sound like there's anything nearby. Zombie. Good sign. Alright, alright, alright. found an amethyst geode which probably has mobs in it where are the mobs oh we're in a deep dark Found a village yet? I think cave will be better. Yeah, uh, we haven't found a village yet. Unfortunately, the potato eye that I used, uh, only led us to... Oh, there it is. The potato eye that I used only led us to a ruined potato portal, rather than a, uh, portal in a village. That's loud. Maybe there's a spawner. Uh, I doubt it. Oh my gosh. Where are the diamonds? There's so much lava. Mine shaft. This is a good sign, right? Oh, diamonds right here. Fantastic. Alright, chat. I'll let you guys decide. Do I loot the mine shaft or do I go up and uh, look for a village? Either way, I'm going to craft the enchanting table right now. Boom. Fantastic. Alright, let's add that to the journal. Made an enchanting table. Oh, there's more diamonds right there. Only had the mace. We will get a mace in this series at some point, but for the first 100 days, we have to focus on the potato. Ooh, mineshaft. Get on surface, I think. I'm conflicted now. Do I do I loot the mine shaft or do I go to the surface? Is that a potato ore? No, that's iron. Uh, I don't need those cobwebs anyway. Uh, let's make more torches. Ow. Ah, good thing I looted it. We got rot, three, and we got diamonds. Nice. I have a plan for my game. Uh, although the build time technically hasn't started yet, but I guess we'll just... Okay, uh, everyone, build time begins now until further notice for the mini game contest.
I have too many games to build on Unreal now because I'm already working on Spleef, and then I have one more that I thought of last night. All right, let's get enough diamonds from the mine shaft just for a diamond chest plate. And then we'll get enough iron to make an anvil and put prot on the chest plate. That's what we'll go with. I don't need more than one poisonous potato plant. Oh! So scary. Diamonds. Okay. Uh, I have a really big stream delay. Okay, uh, let's go get the iron now. Enderman. Oh, I'm almost out of coal. The iron. a big mine shaft oh more diamonds all right we're probably gonna hit iron on our way up crap 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 i just enclosed myself in with a spawner all right all right let, let let's sleep here while we're here Ever tried playing with some horror mod pack? Uh, I've played with uh From the Fog, which is like a Hero Brian mod. Uh, but it didn't really affect my game much. I didn't get to see Hero Brian at all. I think that mod just has really slow progression, uh, which kind of stinks. But other than that, I have not.
Potato ore? Yeah! We got more poisonous potatoes out here. In order to make the quadruple compressed uh, potato block, we're going to need about one, uh, two and a half double chests of uh, poisonous potatoes. That would have been good to know. <laughs> Oh, I didn't make the uh, journal entry for day five, did I? Made an enchanting table and looted a mine shaft. Day five, four, three, twenty twenty four. I had plans for what I was going to do with my Hardcore Season 2. And I ended up throwing it all away so I could play with potatoes. Uh, so we have enough iron to make the anvil, so let's do that first. Oh, we have to go get more coal at some point. But for now, let's mine some wood. And while we're here, we can get more food. Let's make the anvil like so, uh, and then we're going to use the enchanting table. So what we got to do, we make a diamond chest plate, we enchant with unbreaking, then we got protection three by chance, and then we put protection three book on it, boom, brought three unbreaking chest plate on day five. We're just goaded like that this game uh let's wait to enchant the rest until we find a village and get bookshelves so we're gonna have to go adventuring for a while but uh let's put the smoker here let's just run in this direction Oh, let's kill these cows for food. The last hard thing I did in hardcore uh, was surviving in the trial chambers without food. So, playing this and having such an abundance of animals is kind of refreshing. That's certainly a lot easier than living in an ominous trial chamber.
All right. Uh, let's check out the next text. Let's find a Minecraft village. All right. So it's going to give me that quest for a while. Are you starting a hardcore? This is this is a hardcore. This is this is in fact a hardcore world right here. All right. Now that we have a good amount of food, we can head out and try to find this village. Are those potato flowers? I think those are potato flowers. Can those be used to make potatoes? No, they cannot. They're pretty looking, though. Ooh, cherry blossoms. Try from the fog series? Maybe. But if I already have this and Unreal SMP going on, I don't know if I'll uh, be doing that. Maybe if I die on this world, how about that? If I die, like, when I'm already far in, if I die, like, in the next hundred days, I'm probably just gonna restart and try again. Oh, village! Alright, we found a village. Ow. Did I say take a bed? I think I meant take a nap. By the way, what do you think of this year's April Fool's joke? I preferred the one where you could pick where you could only pick up a single block. But this year I think they nailed it. Potatoes. Hilarious. Anyway, I'm genuinely interested in your thoughts. I'm trying to read your thoughts, but I don't think we're communicating telepathically. At least two way telepathy. This feels rather uh, unidirectional. And then you jump every now and then. I'm only assuming that jump is a sign of acknowledgement. Perhaps I can modify your inventory. You should hopefully have some paper on you. Oh, wait, you need an anvil too. Oh, it gave us a free anvil. That should do it. Use that anvil to write your thoughts on the paper. This snapshot is quite hoggers. I don't think I can read this paper. My potato eyes aren't suitable for reading. Remember what you said about not being able to see? What I said about not being able to see? Nothing has changed in that department. I will assume that you are very enthusiastic about the snapshot. It will be on page one of my report. Costina really likes the poisonous potato themed jokes. There, it's in my report. Actually, I might need that paper back. I tore it from the back of my report. And I think that page was the appendix. The first item in the appendix will be your take on this snapshot. You must be wondering what this report is about. It pertains to as to why I am here in Minecraft. And that information is classified. But I will hint that it involves the poisonous potato. We believe there is some significance to the poisonous potato, and from analysis of the Minecraft code, we believe you should try cutting out the eyes. Or more accurately, craft out the potato eyes. 
Go on, Costina. Craft potato eyes from a poisonous potato. I've already done that. Do I need to hold it? Well, I broke it. Let's take a break from talking to this guy. Uh, let's write in our book. Make a potato house. Uh, at made a pretty good enchanted diamond chest plate and had a lovely conversation with the potato dude. I got a free anvil out of this though, so that's nice. Okay, let's see if he wants to actually... I, I, I have made them. What else do you... Uh, uh, just burning. Ah, uh, uh. Oh, regular potatoes. Disgusting. Uh, do we want these hay bales? I guess so. Uh, I don't feel like doing the potato quest. I'm sure we'll find another potato plant later if I feel like it. This particular village did not have a library, it seems. One singular book. More hay bales over there. We're gonna have to find another village that potentially has bookshelves. There's no way I'm farming all those. I mean, I can try. On my adventures, we can just pick up whatever we find. We still only have the first 40 potatoes of our 100 stacks. It has a portal, but I, I want to get the potatofication enchantment first. Before we go in there. Also, some more iron would be nice. Should we just take a peek? Should we just take a peek? Entering... The potato dimension. Huh. Try taking the portal with a pickaxe. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's go in there. Huh. Oh! Whoa! We spawned in a potato village. There's a shipwreck above ground over there. 
Oh, this dimension is laggy. You're a fine looking potato businessman. The cleric. I want that. Thank you. There's another cleric. Curious whether... Uh, those are giving us, like, actual potatoes, though. Try staying here for a hundred days. I would, but if I get attached to this world, I'm not going to want to leave. And I do have to turn off the potato snapshot at some point in this series. Uh, please tell me this sheep gives us poisonous potatoes. Oh, it gives us potato skins. Potato peels. All right, so we can't take down coordinates because F3 isn't allowed in this season. Uh, so how should we keep track of where we're going? Lodestones are going to be very important when we get later into this series. Uh... I don't know what to do. Alright, let's go loot the ship and hope we don't get lost. Hopefully, if we do, we can find another village with another portal to get out of here. Alright, let's try... Okay, what's the best tool for mining these? Okay, they they break quick no matter what. Uh, let's see... If I make a diamond shovel, this might be a bad idea. We can do something like that. Let's... Potatofication, yes. And potatofication, yes. Okay. So now we can use that to get our poisonous potatoes. And we're going to have to compress them all uh, fairly quickly to save inventory space. So let, let's get our first five poisonous potato blocks. And let's just... Oh, this is hard to mine. Does it need a shovel? So you guys can see, as we're mining this, we are getting poisonous potatoes and normal potatoes from it. So we can essentially get infinite food. It's going to take a very long time to get all the poisonous potatoes we need just from doing this, but it'll work eventually. Okay. Let's go loot the ship. And now that you guys know, that is the plan of how we are going to get all these poisonous potatoes. Now, do we think this ship has normal loot? Was that glass? I thought I saw glass on the ship. It's like, this isn't a ruined ship. This, is, this isn't a shipwreck. This is just like a fully intact ship. 
iron, emeralds that I don't really want. Uh, let's craft that into iron and like the lapis. Ooh, can we get buried treasure maps? Ooh, coastal armor trims, poisonous potatoes. That's what we like. Uh. Buried treasure map. Can buried treasure spawn in the potato? Can. Okay, we have to keep an eye on where we came from, which I think is that way. Oh, I can't check what direction. All right, there we go. This is the direction we need to go. This way. If we're lucky, our portal home will be on the map, so it's easier to find later. I'm going for it. Ah, oh. YOLO. It was a bad idea, but we YOLO'd. It's almost nighttime. What does that sound? I don't like that sound, I'm sleeping. Found a potato shipwreck and began search for a buried treasure. My game's freezing. Because the world is saving. There you go. Okay. Day 7. 4, 3, 2024. Alright, let's loot this first. I want any of this. I definitely want the coal. Is this the same map? It is the same map. What? This the buried treasure is in the middle of the void. Alright, so it's probably broken. The treasure was a lie. Oh, we should have kept that map so we could get back to our base though. Okay, we'll take this one. Okay, so now that we have this map, we can kind of go anywhere and we'll be able to get back... Uh, home base so do we just like get to farming places mega spud we found him okay so i'm definitely not going to take on mega spud right now
is that? We can make our first block of compressed poisonous potatoes. Boom, right there. Alright. Uh, so let's... Let's go back to the base for a little bit. But we know where the mega spud is. I kind of want to take a break and go into a creative world and like see how he fights. Give ourselves the exact same armor we have right now and see if we can beat mega spud. Found the Mega Spud. And found the Mega Spud. Uh, I was entering the potato dimension. Obtained the potato. Potato. Potatoification enchantment. Okay. So let's exit this portal. And we are going to, right here, one, two, three, four, and we're going to need one more. Five. This is how many chests we need to fill with poisonous potatoes in order to, uh... Get the quadruple compressed poisonous potato block. Oh, poisonous potatoes stack up to 99 in this update. Why is that a thing? So I, I'm going to have to redo my math, but we need about 6,500 poisonous potatoes to make it. Then divide by 99 to get 65 stacks. So we need about three chests worth. So let's actually do that and trim that down and then this is where all our other items can go and then let's just take the stuff we need uh potato eyes uh, map bed enchanting table iron bread porch stuff and blocks and journal okay so we're we're making some good progress, I I will say. Uh I would like to get a higher level of potatoification. We're gonna have to get more books for that. I know a lot of cows spawn in the savannah. But I don't know about sugar cane. The map is frozen when you're not in the right biome. Uh, okay. So do we make a sugarcane and cow farm? That's the question. I just want this quadruple, uh, quadruple potato. Okay, let, let, let's make a hoe. Uh, we already have a water bucket. Uh... Let's make walls. 
Let's make a fence gate. So we need, let's grab one more bucket, and then we need seeds. And we saw bone blocks in the potato dimension. We can go back there and get those at some point so let, let let's make our farm so first the cows are going to go where should we put the cow hole Alright, so that's where the cows are going to go. Right there. Then around here we're going to plant the wheat. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to go back to the potato dimension to grab the bone blocks. Alright, so the bone blocks were this way. Oh, they still drop leather. Nice. Oh, there it is. Oh, what? Why is it? Why does that hurt? What is that? Vicious potato. Oh. All right. Yeah, I do not want to fight that right now. Hopefully he stays over there. On day eight. Uh, returned to the potato. Uh, I made a plan to make a cow and sugarcane farm for bookshelves and returned to the potato dimension to farm bone blocks. Day eight four three twenty twenty four.
Why is this just impossible to mine? Is it mined with a hoe? It is. That's weird. Those trees look really cool. I really hope this potato update is them experimenting with some stuff for the future. Obviously, they're probably not going to add all this random potato crap. But, uh, it would be cool to have some of it. Like, if we could get a tree type that looks like those trees over there, that would be awesome. Maybe that's what the baobab trees were supposed to look like before they got, uh, before they lost the vote. Alright, we're gonna work on a little bit of a wheat farm. I wish I didn't have to farm wheat in a... a potato update world, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. This is all in the pursuit of more potatoes.
All right. So now let's get rid of these. What is this? Potato plants. Uh, and then make the bone meal. And there we go. There we go. Now we have our cow farm. Now we just need to plant wheat all around it. I'm being very particular about this for no reason. I'm gonna have to go craft another hoe in a second.
Day eight made big strides on the cow farm and wheat farm project in order to make big strides in the cow farm, wheat farm, and sugarcane farms. Uh, cow farm and wheat farm in pursuit of more potato vacation. Day 9-4-3-2024. Okay. So let's go make a new... Go make a new hoe. Let's put our poisonous potatoes in there. And then let's craft more walls. And then let's make a new hoe. Okay, now here's what happens. We place down what we have and rapidly bone meal it. Uh, we should probably breed the cows that we have while we're here. I've never right-clicked so fast in my life. I don't think the wheat farm really had to be this big.
I've never made a wheat farm, like, for the sake of breeding cows before, I don't think. Leather isn't something I usually think about needing too much of. Oh, you know what I just realized? I could have done the, the bookshelf farming with villagers if I just, like, made a lectern and traded. That's not as fun, is it? We'll do it this way. <laughs> There we go. Now the wheat farm is completely filled in. So let's grab torches to light up the farm. Stand by, chat. Okay. Alright, uh, we should honestly start farming trees as well. Really? <laughs> You're joking. More trees over there. Okay, so we're going to go plant trees and place torches around that farm. Uh, let's bring the bone meal with us so we can grow them. Hopefully we can find more bone blocks uh, in the potato dimension because that is very helpful. There we go. We're going to have a good amount of leather very soon. All right. Uh, next farm we need to make is sugarcane, and that one's going to be harder because we can't bone meal it. Completed the cow and wheat portion of the farm. 
Now I need to begin the sugarcane farm. Oh, I forgot to plant the trees. There we go. Trees. Okay. Day 10. Okay, so now we have to go look for some sugar canes, so we'll probably just, like, boat down the river. We find some. This will probably be the easiest way to not get lost. And we've already reached a dead end. And double dead end. Let's go this way. Ah, <laughs> uh, sugar cane. Armadillo! Do I get the scute by killing it? That answers my question. It would appear that's not how we get scute. All right, let's head back to the base and plant this sugar cane. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it so we can keep replanting. And we're on day 10, and we've hardly made a dent in our quadruple uh, compressed poisonous potato. I'm gonna take a look at our achievements. Ooh. Said potato over 99 times in chat. Kicked for spamming? It's my world. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? It saves the commands from other worlds now? You guys know I didn't cheat on this world because I've been streaming the entire time since it's been made. I didn't know it saves commands from other worlds now in the latest snapshots. 
All right, where's our farm? Over here. There we go. Perfect little island for it. Uh, so now that we've done all that... Do I just want to go try to farm some potatoes by mining dirt? So let's go up here to start chipping away at this mountain. It might be faster if we just... do we have Sorry, rabbits. I, 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 I want a bundle. The other two are babies, I think. Dad. murderer i didn't do it bro it was for the greater good eventually i'm gonna get a bundle eventually i really should do something about this lava pool let's cover it up real quick it already properly destroyed one of the houses Okay, we've got 99, 99, 99, and 69 potatoes so far. Potatoes of the poisonous variety. Oh, there was sugarcane down there the whole time. That's crazy. It's okay, because we found more. So, uh, what I want to do now is let's take down what we did today. What did we do today? I planted sugarcane in my farm area and ran around farming, ran around collecting potatoes. Currently have gotta do some math. Ninety nine plus ninety nine plus ninety nine plus sixty nine. Currently have 366 poisonous potatoes out of 6,500 needed. All right, so I'm going to turn off my recording.
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into my test world for this snapshot, and we are going to try to fight the uh, Mega Spud. So slash locate structure. Village potato ruin potato. That's funny. Mineshaft potato. Coliseum. I love how the Coliseum is just a, a retextured bastion for the most part. Okay, so let's give ourselves a shield, diamond armor. Enchant, Cosina, Prot, one. Uh, let's put on breaking on it, too. We're giving ourselves the bare minimum of what I want to fight it with to see what will happen. So we'll need a diamond sword, diamond axe, diamond pickaxe, lava bucket, water. Let's give ourselves a ton of blocks. We're testing out the Mega Spud so we can see if we want to fight it today on stream. Alright, let's do this. Ah! Uh. Nope, we don't, we don't, we don't. We don't want to fight it this stream. How am I alive? Yeah, so I I think it can be determined that we need some enchanted netherite armor if we want to fight it in these 100 days. Which means we have to speedrun the uh, quadruple compressed poisonous potato so that we have time to even do that before we hit 100 days. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Uh, we currently have about four stacks of poisonous potatoes. Uh, we we are going to try to get the poisonification five enchantment. Uh, Uh, um. Okay, uh, so we kind of just need to dilly-dally and wait for this stuff to grow. The Mega Spud is probably the hardest boss in the game now. And that's kind of scary. I just had an idea of how we can get potatoes really fast. We're going to have to get more iron. Oh, shoot. Can you even enchant shears in an enchanting table? Or am I going to need... Well, I just wasted some iron. <laughs> Crap. I was going to enchant the shears with uh, potatoification. Uh, oh wait, we're in a village. Let's just kill the iron golem and get more iron. I don't know where homie is, though. Oh, there he is. Alright. So now we are going to try to uh, do this potatoification strat, uh, but 
we are going to do it with iron hose instead. So let's get notification on both of these. Uh, ooh, should we combine them and get potatoification too? And try that. It's going to break quite fast though, which is my biggest concern. Uh, it's day ten. It's day ten. Uh, made a potatoification two iron hoe to test. Potato farming with leaves. How good do we think this is going to be for potato farming, chat? Oh! What is that? Armadillo scute. Wait. We got one. I don't know how that happens, but I got an armadillo scoot. Wait, where did it just go? Did I accidentally throw it out? I did. I'm an idiot. I wanted to throw out these. Alright, I think leaf farming is the ultimate strat for potatoification. Oh, it is not day 111, it is day 11. Okay. Day 11, 4, 3, 2024. The ultimate potato farming strat has been found. Ooh, two armadillo scoot. Does it just randomly fall off of armadillos sometimes? Alright, let's head on back. Why is dude so scared of me? Maybe because I'm collecting scraps of his shell. Let's put all the regular potatoes in there. Then poisonous potatoes in there. That that got us really close. That is a lot of potatoes. Has any of our sugarcane grown? That's gonna be so annoying. Why does it take so long for sugarcane to grow? Ow. Missed the clutch.
I should probably just cook some of these potatoes, right? There's got to be some leftover lava under here, right? Oh, uh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Use lava to fuel the furnaces so I don't have to waste... Okay. All right, uh, we should start a mine. So let's just hijack this house and uh, maybe we should do a cave. How do we avoid getting lost? Your minigame needs two people to play. Mine's going to be a two-player duel game as well. Uh, but I can't specify what it is quite yet. Deciding whether or not I want to make a whole separate episode for it. I'll probably put uh, our playing all the minigames and me building it in the same episode. I want to build a roller coaster. A roller coaster would be quite cool. I'm keeping what the game is a secret until I unveil it. It's at Marktown. Uh, the whole point was that it's supposed to be at spawn, homie. Did I not specify that? It says building at spawn. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to move what you've done so far, but, uh, that's your fault. <laughs> Ow. I really shouldn't take death dives into the ground like that. It says on the announcement that it's supposed to be at uh, spawn. So that is not my fault. What are you going to do with the pit then? I don't know. Uh, you can make two versions of the minigame and have one for 
your base and one that spawn. That's what I might do because the mini game I thought of is like a really good carnival game too. So I, I, I might end up building it twice just for the sake of it. There we go. I went mining to enhance our strategy day 12 can't believe we're on day 12 already Alright, let's put this potato in there. Let all of these poisonous potato plants despawn. There's a really easy way to build pits in uh the create mod. Uh but it's impossible to stop it it goes all the way down to bedrock where you make a minecart contraption with a bunch of drills facing downwards and then as soon as the minecart uh falls off the rails and goes downward it's just going to infinitely mine down and you got to connect the minecart to uh all the drills that you place it's really cool it's a really easy way to make quarries and a really easy way to uh mine out a chunk But it depends how deep you want to mine. Oh. Alright, so we're going to make more potatoification hose. Oh. Baked potato bricks. Did we, how did you know about the contest if you didn't read the announcement, though? Did I tell you? Did I did I make that announcement before the tour yesterday? 
I could have sworn I done did it after, but it was at 8 p.m. Yeah, it was after the tour. Okay, so let's make all these hoes. Edification one. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Oh, I have no XP left. What am I going to do about that? Uh... What's a fast way to get XP? You know, I don't play this game. Jokes. Uh... I guess we could go back mining. Alright, let's just mine a bunch of coal for XP. I guess you could stop the drill uh, by picking up the minecart, actually. <coughs> if you do the quarry strat that I described. Uh, you could also just, like, add a piece of obsidian somewhere under the drill so that it would have to stop. Can drills break obsidian? Good question. Ow, how did I miss that? That was so close to the ground. This reminds me of Prestige SMP, just doing whatever I can to get XP. Because that server, uh, the progression system was based on XP, and you had to get to level 20 to rank up the first time, which means you had to, like, rank up with just wooden tools all the way up to level 20. That was a tough server. I want to bring it back. That server was fun. I gotta leave for school in like three hours or something. Okay, uh, let's see. Poisonous potato, and the rest of these are fakes. Unbreaking. 
Uh, and then all of these have potato potatoification now, so let's just get started. Uh, let's grab some poisonous potatoes and sprinkle them about our inventory so that uh, we can't pick up anything else. We dropped any skew? No. I hope there's an achievement for getting the quadruple compressed uh, potato block because uh, otherwise this is going to be really lame. What day are we on? Day 12? Spent the day farming potatoes. Oh, that's armadillo skew. Oh, that's armadillo skew. I can pick that up. That's fine. It's also a cow. Let's uh take the leather as well. Day 13.
I would have thought the hardest part about uh, getting these bookshelves was the leather. <coughs> but the paper is clearly going to be the hardest part. How did that not crit? Let's break this hoe, and then we'll uh, go back to the base and call it a day, probably. A normal ruin portal. Hopefully I'm not lost. Flint and steel. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's head back to the base. Uh, we're not, oh, village is right there. I was going to say, we're not lost, are we? We're good. Potato. Welcome to the stream. We are currently trying to obtain a quadruple compressed poisonous potato. The question is, do I use the sugar cane to expand the farm? Yes. Uh, by the time that we have the bookshelves to get potatoification 5, we're not even going to need it anymore because we're going to have all the potatoes we need. So let's just stop farming potatoes for now. Uh, take a look at all the potatoes we have. We are pretty good on that front. Uh, we also have three skewt. What is that? Uh, let's stay quiet. I think they know. The potatoes can talk? I think the potatoes are putting that in the chest. Oh. All right, let, let, let's get a tally of all the potatoes we have first. So 99 times 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 16, 1,501, 1,501 poisonous potatoes acquired out of 6,500 needed. The potatoes are leaving notes in my chest, and it's freaking me out. Alright, uh, let's go breed the cows. And also place torches around this, uh, sugar, around the sugar cane. Awfully suspicious, those potatoes. Every trade is poisonous potatoes in this update. Wait, that means we actually can't trade for bookshelves like I was prophesizing we could.
All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm not in that dimension. I think you need to change your shampoo. I feel quite greasy up here. It's looking rather tragic. Have you seen the animals? The Minecraft pig is looking pretty cheeky. And so is the cow, very cheeky. Anyhow, we should find a potato village. Okay. Wait. Sleep. Oh! Why do you do so much damage? Yeah, burn to death, loser. Why do you do so much damage? Oh, because I didn't have my helmet on. Day 14, 4, 3, 2024. I decided to wait for sugarcane to grow by adventuring with the with the adventuring with the sentient potato for a while. Oh. It went back a little bit in the dialogue. <laughs> Familiarize yourself with the villagers. Steal their loot, etc. The usual Minecraft stuff. There's some neat stuff around here. Most of it is potato themed. But as long as you think potatoes are neat, you'll be right at home. Once you're ready, throw another one of those potato eyes. I don't wanna. On the road again. This time we're looking for a dangerous place. Yeah, I know. I know what you're making me do. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. That's a later day's problem. Uh, we're almost a third of the way there. Getting all these poisonous potatoes. Not sure what I should be doing right now. I could be working on getting more potatoes. I'm scared of getting lost. You know what? I think I'm gonna end stream and call it here for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching.